Good morning, guys. So we're ready to get our bride ready no. for her big day. So we're here. It is a um, to eat. They're about to think that's what the time is. So we're set for our day. Let me say hello to you guys. Good morning. Um, we're ready for the big day. And, um, we're giving our A plus game. Um, we're bringing our A plus 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 game because uh, our bride brought us all the way from Nigeria. She saw us online, you know, she saw us on Instagram, and she booked us and she paid for literally everything for us to get here. And she has been super amazing. She has been super nice. Her family has been super hospitable. So we have to give them the very, very best and um, so that we can be coming to Mali, if possible, travel to other countries to have her friends, her sisters make up dance. So just stay good and um, watch out for the process and finish the look. And um, you guys are going to join us in the wedding as well. So let's experience how um, a different culture, you know, happy wedding is done. Sorry, my voice is a bit husky. I don't know. I just woke up, so yeah. Thank you, guys. Okay, so guys, this is our bride sister. Hi. Hey. <laughs> so um, they've all been nice. They got they've been sweet to us. So see you guys later. Okay. So can you just tell us about a bit about your culture or your ethnicity? Okay, my English is very bad. Yeah, but it's okay. And I'm not looking nice. No, you now. are looking nice. She's beautiful, guys. <laughs> so, uh, in Mali, uh, yes. when you marry a man, yeah. uh, if the man is not from here, okay. he's not native of yes, uh, yes, Mali. Yes, yes, Mali. Yes. Yes. That's the first thing. And okay. Then, yes, 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 he has to respect. Uh, the woman ethnicity yes. and cultural things. Yes. So my father is Barbara. Okay. My mother is um, I don't know how to say it in English. I don't know if there is a word, but in our language is Numu. Numu. Yeah. Okay. Numu is like the people that does gold and everything. Oh, okay. Made. Oh. And my father. Uh, uh, the Barbara are like the soldier. Oh. Say, the one that well, the warriors. Yeah. yeah. The warriors. Okay, okay. So, uh, there is a lot of things like henna. Oh, henna. yeah. Okay, yeah. And our henna is different from, from yours. Okay, this one is red. Yeah, it's red henna, but we we put like, uh, I, I don't know how to say it, but it's like, um, you see that? Oh, yeah. This is our henna. And she do it like this. The black henna. Yeah. So there is uh, the henna Then uh, we, the, we do the, the rest of the wedding like uh, uh, not to see okay. foreign. Uh, okay, white. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And then we wash the bright hair okay. with uh, pure water. Okay. So oh, like purify yeah, and bless you know? the, the Yeah, okay. The, so we wash her hair, her face, oh, her, everything, okay. and then she goes to her husband's husband house. Oh, wow. Uh, okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, guys, I hope people have been able to grab one or two. So, if you tend to marry a, a woman from Mali, just just know that you have to do this thing. So, yeah. <laughs> all right, thank you, guys. Hi, guys. So, I'm here with a uh, bride. She's um, a makeup artist in Mali, but from our country, Nigeria. So, I couldn't just help but show you guys him. So, if you're in Mali, I don't know if I have some Malians watching my youtube this is bright king bright and he's super amazing so he's about to get them ready how are you look good your Thank skin you. is glowing <laughs> yeah, this is our invite for the wedding this is mine Wow! 
Guys, our bride's room is so beautiful. As beautiful as she is, anyway. <laughs> oh my god, guys. This dress is beautiful. And it's from Badrin. Saiti. Guys, this is. Kosovo. Turkey. Kosovo. Kosovo. Where's Kosovo? Yes, it's in the, it's Europe. Oh, Europe. Oh, nice. This Europe. Guys, this guy on Instagram, I'm sure you guys know him. I'm going to leave his handle. His dresses are amazing. Can I just give a hand? Last time. Just a normal video. Uh oh. Mademoiselle Fatmata Koulouban, voulez-vous prendre M. Clément ici présent? Je vous déclare uni, mari et femme. Heureux ménage. And I've learned to love Be all that you see It's like our hearts have intertwined Into the perfect harmony
Hey guys, so it's reception time and we did a quick change up on our bride. This is her look. And I also got ready for the event, even though this was the first appearance I was or oh, my first appearance here yeah, because I actually didn't meet up for the church that's the joining. Um, I just got some of those videos from you know our friends that we, we made in Mali, yeah. So it, the party was still like the reception was still gonna go on in the night. So this is me. I got dressed. Uh, well, just enjoy the rest of the video. Mali time, but Nigeria should be like um, 3.47 uh, I'm actually getting a bit sleepy I'm actually tipsy because I took um, What did I take again? Cocktail and it had it had alcohol in it So right now I came outside to take fresh air with thoughts of just going inside to sleep because I'm not slept you know or uh, I might go back I don't know but I'm outside for now so yeah I hope you guys have been enjoying the the vlog so far I couldn't go to church because um the rush was crazy you know how you have an event for three o'clock and those relax we all hope that there's time. I got to the accommodation, like the hotel where our bride's gonna dress up for by 7 30. Post was doing the hair. I wanted to start doing makeup before um, they were done with hair. But they, they didn't want that. They didn't want to have their hair laid um, down after I done. After I done makeup, so I had to wait like um, 11, 12 o'clock. Then before we could do the flight on, before she could go to church. Now there was no time again. We we're rushing, so by the time we we're done, I couldn't start getting dressed up for the 
for the church which they called their cocktail party so um i did my makeup this evening alongside with um posh and um decided to dress for the after party which i have been showing you guys so right now i'm actually feeling like really 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 sleepy like i don't know if you guys can see my eyes are literally falling so i just want to go sleep right now and um so for the wedding today this this will be all the after parties are going on people are giving their speech but it's in french can't hear anything uh, so that's about it for today tomorrow i think it's the bride's traditional so we'll still have to do her makeup again tomorrow but the time is what i'm not sure of and um we're supposed to go sightseeing tomorrow but our bride is so busy so i don't know how that is going to work yeah but for now this is it so good night for today see you guys tomorrow see you guys soon or rather the next slide you'll see will be like another day yeah i love you guys so much hi everyone good morning it's a beautiful day and a sunny one as said that so um we are at the rooftop of the building where we are though that's my bride's house um so um today's supposed to be like a traditional wedding day so um we just woke up and i want to quickly freshen up so this is what Mali looks like this morning. Mali is so peaceful. Hey guys, good morning. So it's a beautiful morning over here. Like I already introduced you guys. Um, so today is a traditional wedding day and we're about to glam her up. So um, just stay, stay glued for the finished look. Yeah. So um, I like the fact that I'm glowing this morning. Mali weather looks good on me though. But we're coming back to Nigeria. Sorry. Hi. Hi. Hey. 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 Yeah. Hey. Okay. Okay, so my bad voice. Okay. So guys, um we're going to see the bride's mom. It's their tradition that yeah the tradition that you actually go say hi and hello to the mothers of the land so that's where we're going to right now and um so we're in the car guys our bride is ready this is Asi, her sister and our beautiful beautiful bride <laughs> she looks stunning <laughs> Sister's love. Yeah. Sister's love. Even, even my wedding day, I help her. Do you help her? <laughs> yeah. So we here. She has to wait for her girls to come before we go in.
at this point i really could not understand what was happening because the it was strictly french music language i i didn't understand so at this point i just went home guys um we're done from the seeing the mothers right now i think um they're doing the traditional rites where they get to wash her hair and uh, what else and she doesn't come out of the house for like one week with her husband yeah so that's about it for now and this might just be me saying goodbye from this wedding event as uh, we have uh, um, we we'll finished the wedding proper. We're going back to Port Harcourt. Sorry, Nigeria tomorrow. Yes. Hi guys, good morning. So um we're on the way out of Mali. Our flight is for nine o'clock. We're kind of um, the time. So we're going to the airport now. We had an amazing time in Mali. An awesome experience. Um, um, our host was so, 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 super, super hospitable and nice. Um, yeah, definitely love to come back here for work. So we are off. See you guys at the airport. Guys, I'm not sure what to talk about today because um, today didn't start off with this start off on a good note. I don't know. I don't know why. Uh, first, I forgot my phone at um, Bamako, my client's house, and they had to come bring it forward. Now I just misplaced this. I'm not clumsy. I don't know what's happening today, but yeah, we're in Togo. And um, we're waiting for our flight. Today has today has been today has been so crazy. I can't even write. Today has been today has just been a bit of um, a mixed feeling. Starting from Bamako Airport, we met this guy who was asking for the receipt of our COVID test like receipt we showed him the covid test and he was like he wants the receipt it's crazy he just acted like a nigerian he said if you don't have it you pay a fine of twenty thousand sefa and if we don't have the twenty thousand sefa they'll take us to the police station he was speaking french i couldn't even understand he was like you will not go you will not go I had to call my bride sister. She tried to talk to him. The guy said no. And um, at the end of the day, he packed his things and gave our passport to one of his colleagues. That if the guy does not see the receipt, he should not let us go. This thing I'm telling you guys, 30 minutes to departure. Like at that immigration center, 30 minutes to departure. So in my mind, I'm like, every country has one mad person actually every country has one mad person because it's so crazy like i don't even understand why the guy was acting that way he he, he was acting like a racist actually and when i spoke to my bride sister she was like you don't ask for it it's because we're foreigners and i'm like why if i were coming from nigeria that's how the nigerian nation said we need, we need to have money on our hands okay we, we didn't travel with dollar um, the last time i went to mauritius they didn't ask me for money but when i went to dubai they actually did so i didn't even know that it was a compulsory stop and the guy was like was supposed to have um over like 500 dollars with us bta um, what's the um, bta bta i've forgotten the full meaning basic travel allowance yes 
that I was supposed to have five hundred dollars, and I'm like, we don't have that money. And he said, we'll not go. Same thing, same time, two minutes to departure. I called my friends. <laughs> my friend Precious, that one was boiling. She was like, get me his name, get me his name. <laughs> As he said, she could do anything for me at that point. So what I did was, I just um, just tried to beg them. You know, there's no there's no need for power to say. I just told him that we didn't know, I didn't know that all the times I've been traveling, you know, we've never had such experience before. And um, that um, now that we know, next time, we are going to like um, take precaution. And then um, one other guy now came in, you know, we tried to talk to this um, immigration guy on our behalf. And finally they agreed. That's how we, we were able to travel. I've not had any issues in Togo at all, but you see Bamako, Nigeria, there are five or six days, the same human beings live there, honestly. So this money hasn't been, I don't know, there's just something not right, but I'm afraid about it, you know, there's something off, just not in the best of the world, but it's okay, it's fine. So right now, we are at um, um, Togo airport waiting for our flight to take us to Nigeria. Um, we're just sitting. I picked up my my earpiece. So for now we're just sitting. Um, see you guys soon. Okay, I'll see you guys in Nigeria. I'll see you guys in Nigeria. So guys finally we're in nigeria and honestly it felt good to be home yes i mean there's no place like home i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i'm sorry um it took a long time for me to drop the second part of this video but let me know what you think and see you guys soon love you